My name is David Swap. I'm a research fellow in the Virtual Environments and Computer Graphics group here, uh, and I'm also in charge of the Virtual Reality Lab um, that you've just seen downstairs. Now, the idea of the technology you've seen is rather than wearing a head mounted display, um, that we just have large screens and we display a scenario all around you. So there are three vertical walls uh, and a floor um, and head tracking, um, which gives you a perspective correct 3D view of the environment you're in. We have a wide range of projects um, that come through the lab. Uh, the one you've seen was a collaboration with a group of social psychologists, but we collaborate with various academic and industrial groups. Um, but the background to all our projects, or our real interest, is in understanding what makes virtual reality work and trying to improve uh, how that works. So there are critical issues such as the, the latency of the head tracking, say, it has to be very low latency, very accurate, otherwise the illusion is destroyed. Um, you'll seen in the scenario we showed that there are virtual characters there. Um, we are very interested in characters. Uh, we use motion capture technology to capture um, the actions of people. This might be real time. These characters might represent a real person at a remote location um, when you're, you're doing what we call collaborative VR. Um, or they might be offline motion capture of actors that we then attached to these characters and we can replay over and over again as we've done this experiment. The, the application you saw was studying something called the bystander effect. This is something that's been studied by social psychologists for nigh on 50 years. And this is the idea that uh, is taking a look at under what conditions people intervene when they see an attack or an assault or a mugging in the street. Uh, and the rather counterintuitive notion that the more people that there are around the less chance there is that anyone will intervene. Um, it's been very hard to study this because it's very difficult. You can't set up a real scenario with real people fighting, but you can do this in virtual reality. And it all hinges on our technology working sufficiently well that people do respond as if it's real. Um, and this is a very important point. We don't expect people to believe that it is real. It obviously doesn't look real, but if people can respond uh, as if it's real, then you can get real um, experimental data from this. This is a, a very interesting time for virtual reality research. There's a proliferation of new low-cost devices like the Oculus Rift head mounted display and the Microsoft Connect uh, tracking system. Uh, and these are enabling a whole range of research that wasn't possible before and this is something that's very exciting for us.